Another attempt to construct a realistic theory of a universe without a beginning uses the idea of eternal inflation developed by Andre Linde. The idea is that the universe as a whole is perpetually undergoing an exponential expansion. What this basically means is that there's a time scale t such that whenever a time t passes, the universe doubles in size. Such an exponential expansion is called inflation. Within this perpetually inflating universe, however, bubbles are continually forming, within which space expands in the much slower fashion that characterizes the part of the universe that we can see. That is the part of the universe within our horizon. We have a horizon since we can only see light that was emitted after the Big Bang. And such light cannot have traveled a distance greater than about 14 billion light years. In other words, we are inside one of these bubbles, and it is so vast that it extends far beyond our horizon. In this scenario, the Big Bang that happened 14 billion years ago was not the beginning of the whole universe, but merely the formation of our bubble. It should be noted that the idea of inflation was not proposed whimsically or arbitrarily because it resolves certain very difficult theoretical puzzles in cosmology. Most cosmologists, therefore, believe that our part of the universe did undergo inflation at some point in time. And it has been shown that in a wide class of theories, if some region of the universe starts to inflate, inflation tends to take over and lead to eternal inflation. However, almost all theorists agree that eternal inflation, while it may be eternal into the future, probably cannot be eternal into the past. One reason for this conclusion is the theorem of Borda, Guth, and Blenkin referred to previously. <laughs>